Hi guys! So this video is going to be all about my first week at the CIA, okay? How that went, um, I've got like my little sticky note here to, as talking points, but yeah, this is just going to be unedited, just everything about the CIA in my first week. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is move in. Um, I got here on Saturday, a squad of like six people rushed out to my car with my um, parents in it, took all of my shit and moved it into my dorm for me. So that was really cool, it was really helpful. Moving took like easily 10 minutes, like it was really nice. Um, I really appreciated the fact that there were people here on campus to help us do that. I didn't really know how it was gonna work, but it just made everything really like simple. They just put it in the dorm and then that just gave me the freedom to um, unpack at my leisure and not have to worry about having to carry things. So that was really nice. Move-in was really easy. So after move-in, there's like this three-day orientation. So from Saturday afternoon all the way until Mon Monday uh, Monday night. Um, orientation was really long and it was honestly really boring and it was a lot of stuff that you probably already knew like the rules of the school, how things work. We had like a toke ceremony which is basically a ceremony where you like put on your chef hat and you like take a pledge. Um, so it, it was it was pretty boring but um, what I really loved about orientation and I, I really appreciate that the school did this is um, even though it wasn't the most fun it gave you an immediate opportunity to meet other people as soon as you got to the school. So you kind of have like your little orientation squad, people that you click with, people that you're sitting next to, like you're just kind of continuously like sitting next to people and like talking to people and meeting people. And everyone's new, like no one's done this before. So I really did appreciate the fact that I met, um, I made some like good connections or whatever in orientation. Um, yeah, so after orientation, it's like, um, your classes as a freshman are uh, go from Tuesday to Friday. So on Monday you don't have class, you're in orientation, cool. But immediately that Tuesday, like your classes start. And by the way, you probably said goodbye to your parents on Saturday unless they like stayed um, for you or whatever, oh. but yeah. Um, okay, <laughs> the camera like got off because I tried to text someone. But yeah, so orientation was really easy. Um, the next thing I want to talk about was the dorm. So I'm in my dorm room. I'm an angel. I love it here. I love it here. I'm on the first floor. It's really, um, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was. So I was really worried about my dorm room. I thought it was going to be small, like Chotsky, like I was going to have a lot of space or like I brought too much stuff, but it was actually, it's actually really nice. So I'll show you a little bit. Um, that's my bed right there. And that's my dresser with the lamp on it. That's my roommate's bed. Okay. That's my desk. And then those that's like your mini fridge and a microwave. And then I bought the coffee maker. But like, I don't know. I'll do a dorm tour if you guys really want me to. There's a bathroom behind that wall. Um, Angel and Pick have a bathroom inside the dorm room that we share with two people. Hudson, I think Hudson is the one that you have communal bathrooms. Hudson is the ghetto, okay? Um, so <laughs> I'm sorry if you're in Hudson or you get stuck in Hudson, but it is it's ghetto out there. But yeah, so this is my dorm room. I'm so happy that it's like big, it's nice. Um, I've heard some like pretty bad roommate issues, but I like my roommate. Um, she's really nice, she's really sweet. Um, you know, she's clean, I'm a very clean person. So um, yeah, I, we didn't get to talk or whatever before because our assignment was kind of like last minute, but um, she's really cool and I like her. So no roommate issues, but yeah, the dorm rooms are big, they're spacious, there's more than enough room. Oh, oh, okay. So we get, I told you, we get a desk we get that dresser, right? We also get about three feet under our bed, okay? So all of my stuff that I brought is under there. I love that. There's, I didn't, you know, I didn't know. And then on top of that, see, it's not done. Where are we? Desk, dresser, dresser. Three feet under the bed, like a lot of space. And then we also get like a closet that's also behind that wall. Bathroom and closet behind the wall. It's not like a huge closet, but it's like a good, you know, sized closet so I'm really happy with the room and also okay I said I wasn't gonna get up during this but also I just have to show you look at my view look at my view look at what I get to wake up to I don't know I don't know if my camera's like capturing it but I get to like wake up to the Hudson Valley River every morning and it just makes me really happy okay it makes me really happy it's surreal being here so that brings us to Tuesday so Tuesday um is your first day of classes and as a new student, the class schedule is really, really confusing. Um, it looks like you're taking about nine to 10 classes uh, a semester, and you are, 
but some of them are late start. So even though it looks like you're taking nine classes like in the semester and it looks like they overlap on times and everybody's schedule is like this, every single person. So as like Tuesday, I was really stressed out because I was like, oh my God, I have three classes that overlap at the same exact time that are, you know, I get out of one class at three and then I start another class at three and then the other class starts at, you know, 3.30 and that class isn't until four. And it's like this confusing little, <laughs> it's confusing. So Tuesday, I was very nervous. Um, I was really confused my, about my schedule. I e emailed my advisor like a million times and she assured me that none of my classes overlapped and that some of them were late start. So Tuesday was um, you know, kind of confusing, but basically I got up really early on Tuesday and I just took the time because on Monday you're in orientation all day. So I took the time to just like find out where my classes were. If you guys are confused about where your classes are, ask your RAs, okay? They've been here before. They've been doing this for a while. Like the biggest resource that I can give you is if you're confused about anything like class related, like where something is, just ask your, your RAs. The RAs here are really nice. They're ready to help. They're ready to like, you know, um, be nice to you and help you. And like, they're really cool. Or at least my RAs and Angel are like, they're really nice. So I like my RAs. Um, so yeah, on Tuesday I went to class. Um, my kitchen classes didn't start till Wednesday. So um, let me make sure I'm on. So I talked about move in, orientation, dorms. Okay, well, whatever. I guess I'll talk about my classes next. Um, my kitchen classes. So you have to have a white um, chef jacket. Let me just tell you about your kitchen class. You have to have a white chef, chef jacket. You have to have no nails, all right? So make sure they're clipped really short. Um, you, your hair has to be pulled all the way back, okay? Like if you're a girl, like all the way back and in a bun. So this situation is a little bit hard for me. I know some chefs like aren't as strict. My chef actually commented on it on the second day and was like, hi, can you get this like a, you know, up higher? And I was like, there's no way I can. So I ordered a bunch of hair nets on Amazon and they'll, they'll get here. So um, yeah, your hair has to be like in a very tight bun. You're, you're, you're given a cap too. And then um, black shoes, black socks and pretty high up black socks, like pretty high up, not, not um, below the ankle. Like they have to be able to see your socks. So those are the requirements or whatever for um, your kitchen classes. My first day of kitchen classes were really good. Um, my chef isn't like mean. He's not like gonna Gordon Ramsay you, or at least mine isn't. Like he doesn't seem like he's mean. He's really nice. Um, I ask a lot of questions in, in class. The only advice I would give for kitchen classes based off of my first week is have like a little notebook. Be right back. Buy this. Buy this. You need this. I'm, I'm in culinary, by the way. I'm a culinary student. But buy a notebook this size. A notebook this size will allow it to fit right in your chef pocket. And when chef is like doing demos um, and he's like, you know, rambling off about how to cut a tomato or a recipe for a consomme or whatever, you're like, mm, you know, writing and then it can go right into your chef jacket. And then when it's time for you to practice, you can just whip out your notebook and be like, okay, this is what he said. This is how you do it. Um, some chefs don't really mind computers or iPads in class. My chef doesn't, but I will say, I I'm an iPad person, like I'm a paperless sort of person. And I will say it, it would be really awkward to have your laptop or your iPad, like in class. Like it would just be awkward. Like I wouldn't do it. Um, I'm using this thing. So yeah, Tuesday first classes, like it was fun. It was easy. Um, it's kind of cool to like go around the campus, go around Roth, Roth Hall, like all that stuff. Uh, the next thing I'm going to talk about is the meal points. So, huh. I'm going to try to explain this like really simply because this is something I wish someone had made a video about, the meal points and like how they work. So, this is how they work. Okay, I'm going to try, I'm going to make it really simple. And when you get here and you are, you understand this, like you'll, you'll get like what I'm trying to tell you. So I'm just going to make it really simple. Um, this is the best way to understand it. As an incoming freshman, you have... 20 points a day 20 points averages out to about $20. So let's just call them for the sake of it blue points Okay, we're just gonna call them. That's not what they're called. Let's call it blue points. You get 20 points a day So with those 20 points you could buy anything um, Usually a meal will cost about eight points. So eight dollars eight points uh, Dinner will be like eight points, you know lunch will be like eight points and maybe breakfast will be like one or two points So that's how it works. So it averages out to where you can eat at the egg um, every single day and use your points. So the points, they don't roll over. You can't like save them for tomorrow. Once they're gone, they're gone. Like they're, they disappear into thin air. So you just, it kind of encourages you to use your points because you paid for it, right? So the points, that 20 points that you get a day, it only works Monday through Friday. 
on the weekends, it's like fend for yourself. So what the school does is they give you 300 gold points, all right? And those gold points can be used on the weekends, but you can't like use your blue points on the weekends. You can only use your gold points on the weekends, but it's only 300. So what that means is you're essentially gonna run out. Like you're gonna run out. Like the gold points for the entire semester, you can maybe do like something small during the week in like one Saturday and those are your gold points. So essentially it's kind of like fend for yourself. So I didn't really understand this or I didn't know that this was how it was gonna be. Like I assumed that the like you could either roll the points over or like whatever. So Monday through Friday, like you're gonna be good. Like you're gonna be good. You're gonna eat, you're gonna have food, it's gonna be fine. I love the egg food. Some people complain about it, but like I think it's really good. Like they had some vegetarian chili the other day and I was like, yes. Okay, today I had salmon with like brown rice and it had this like bourbon honey glaze and like vegetables and bok choy, like it was bomb. And they have like a lot of options in the egg. I was worried about that. No one really like made a video about the food, but um, side bust, okay, to our point conversation, we'll revisit. But yeah, the food in the egg is like really good. They've got a salad bar, they've got like a pizza option, but like, like really good pizza options. They've got like a vegan section. Um, there's like grab and go stuff. So if you're just like on the go, you wanna grab a quick salad, there's fruit, there's coffee, free coffee if you bring your mug, free coffee if you bring your mug, remember that. But yeah, like I like the egg, I like it. I don't understand why people complain about it. It's like amazing and I love it. Anyway, back to the points. So Monday through Friday, just know that you're gonna be good. You don't have to understand it, but just know that you're gonna be good. But also know on the weekends, it's fend for yourself. You're gonna get here and you're gonna realize that you don't really wanna like spend all your gold points all at once. So, um, so yeah, so there's an option to buy more gold points. It's like for 300 more dollars, you can buy like 300 more points or I don't know, something like that. Don't quote me, but something like that, you can buy more points. But that is just something like as an incoming student, um, you need to be aware of like the fact that that's, you know, happening. So obviously like in the egg, um, which is our cafeteria, whew, I'm out of breath. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna edit this video. I told myself, fuck it, I'm not gonna edit it. I'm just gonna send it out into the universe, all right? So, um, yeah, that's the points. I lost my train of thought. Those are the meal points. Those are the meal points. The egg is great. Um, I, I really think you're gonna like the food here. Um, there's also an option to eat in the restaurants, which, which are in Roth Hall. So here's another thing I'm gonna tell you about. So when you do your kitchen classes, most likely you're either gonna be right in Roth Hall or right outside Roth Hall. To eat in your kitchen classes, you get about 30 minutes. Like it's very quick and my chef takes off points if we're late, like 10 points if we're late. So um, he penalizes us, we'll say that because I don't know what your chef is gonna do, but we're penalized if we're late. So um, you don't have enough time to like run to the egg, which is a little bit farther, get food and then come back. What, you're, what you have to do is eat in Roth Hall and um, you have to spend, um, you eat in Roth Hall and what's in Roth Hall are restaurants. So the restaurants that like the public goes to. So that's really cool that we get a chance to eat at the restaurants. Um, I'm not a fan of the restaurant food. Um, you do have to just remember that the people who are cooking your food, like they're students, like they're learning, like be patient. Like some people just really bash the restaurant food. And I will be honest and say that it's not the best. Like a lot of times it's under seasoned. So you need to bring like a salt and pepper pack with you because they're students, they don't, they're afraid. They don't want to over season. So, I mean, I, I know eventually like I'll be working in the restaurants and I'll be where they are. And you know what I mean? Like that, that'll happen, but just, just know that they're students and this is a culinary school. So it's a learning experience. Um, I agree. Uh, it's not the best all the time. Um, the shitty thing is that you're paying 10 points and versus like the normal eight points. So you're paying like an extra two, but yeah, that's neither here nor there because whatever. So, um, yeah, you get to work, you get to eat in the restaurants. Um, apple pie, it's like a famous one. We have like an Italian restaurant. We have lots of different restaurants. I mean, your food is awesome and you're, you're not going to go hungry here. Okay. I just want to say that. Um, so Roth Hall. So this is something that I did not know. Um, when you go into Roth Hall, which is where all of your, which is where a lot of your classes are going to be. That's that like huge monumental building. That's like on the website where you're like, Oh my God, it's like Hogwarts. Okay. That's Roth Hall. When you go in there, you have to be dressed in either your chef whites or business casual. Now, um, as an incoming student, I was just like, oh, cool. I can just wear my chef whites all the time. No, no, no. You're not going to want to wear your chef whites all the time because you don't want them to get dirty. When you go to class, they have to be completely white and you want them to be like ironed and straight and look like really awesome. So you're not going to want to just like throw on your chef whites and go to Roth. I mean, you could, but you're, you probably won't want to. Um, that brings us to our other option, business casual. So on the website, it said business casual. 
Um, I'm kind of a fashionista, so I um, have lots of cute business casual clothes that I ordered on Shein, and I got dress coded. Um, I got dress coded not by any of my professors, but by like the, uh, I'm, I'm gonna omit the next sentence, okay. But I got dress coded by someone who wasn't a professor. My, I was wearing shorts, like business shorts, and they were like about down to my knees. They were like down to here, okay. They were, they were pretty, um, they were pretty long and they were a really nice material and it came with like one of those Shein like blazer shit. Oh my God, my hair. Okay, this is gonna be the look for now on. Um, it was like long shorts, very long, like past the knee and like a blazer sort of thing. I had like a collar shirt underneath and it was like a blazer. It, I, looked, I looked adorable. Multiple people told me that they loved my outfit and I looked adorable, but apparently shorts are not in the dress code. It was hot, it was like 90 degrees. I wore, you know, really long nice shorts with the blazer. It matched, it was cute. I wore my little shoes. It was awesome, it was adorable. But um, apparently shorts are not in the dress code. So what the lady told me was that my, I could have worn a dress that was that long, but I couldn't wear shorts. So um, none of my professors dress coded me because I didn't have enough time to go home and change. But just know that business casual really means business here. Okay, there's no, we can just omit the word casual. And I really wish they would because um, it seems like they're like a little bit strict on the dress code. Like they don't want you to wear jeans. You can't wear jeans. So what does business casual mean for a girl? Um, it means like a nice collared shirt, a blazer. It means a dress. It means a pencil skirt. It means, um, I'll show you, if you guys want me to do a video on business casual, please just let me know in the, in the comments because I will do a little walking wardrobe of what my business casual looks like because um, I was I was a little bit lost. I was like, I can wear a dress this length, but I can't wear shorts. And it was like, they were long shorts. Whatever. None of my professors care. Just this specific person, I guess, cared. Um, so yeah, in Roth Hall, you need to wear business casual or your chef whites. So I want to talk to you guys about that. Check. Um, another thing is laundry. So laundry is free here. You should know that laundry is free. Um, that's really nice. So um, the first week they give you like all these Tide Pods like for people to just grab. But yeah, um, if you're gonna do your laundry here, which you will be, um, I recommend just grabbing like some Tide Pods. Um, I just use like the reusable like grocery bags to like carry my, I do my laundry every week so I don't have a lot of laundry. Um, so yeah, laundry's free here, that's really cool. Um, what else? I don't know. Now that I'm here, I like all of my questions are answered. I'm trying to think about like what I was nervous about like before I was coming, you know what I mean? Cause I like binged all of, there's this girl, you guys probably know her if, you've, if you're watching CIA videos, but I think it's like Jennifer Lee. She's like an Asian chick. She's awesome. She's the whole reason why I came to CIA. And she's like, I binged like every single one of her videos. And I was like, so mad. I was like, I wish you would just answer this, you know? And I'm trying to think about it, but I see it's like a lot harder. But, like now that I'm here in front of the camera, I'm like, what would people want to know? Um, but yeah, so I guess that's basically it. Um, I like it here. It's really nice. I'm from Florida. It's gonna get cold soon. Pray for me. Um, in case you don't know, it's September. So the winter is coming. Um, yeah, that's basically it. I did the points, orientation, laundry, Roth Hall, whites. Um, the campus is really, oh, another thing. The campus is really walkable. Okay, so technically you don't need a car. I'm gonna repeat that. Technically you don't need a car. I have my car up here. I'm grateful that I have my car up here. Um, there's lots of people who have cars who are here. So if you don't have a car, it's really easy to find someone who has a car. Like I was really worried about that. I didn't know if I was gonna bring it or I wasn't. I'm happy that I brought it because that means I have the freedom to like leave campus when I want. And the walkway over the Hudson is really close to here. And I love going there. It's like a nice like bliss place. It's beautiful. I'll show you guys videos too of that if you want to. Um, but also, oh, another thing, another thing. I keep remembering and forgetting and remembering again. Guys, there's nothing to do here. There's nothing. This is an extremely, extremely, extremely small town. So if you're from a very small town where there's nothing to do, this is gonna be amazing for you and you, it's just gonna be like a piece of cake. But I come from a, a big city. Like I come from a very big city. Um, I come from Florida. It's like, you know, there's, there's bars, there's restaurants. Let me just give you an example. There's a Planet Fitness less than a mile from here. It closes at 8.30 on a Friday, okay? So this is a very small town. There's no bars. There's like no restaurants. There's no clubs. Um, there's, <laughs> there's literally nothing. There's nothing to do. There's nothing to do but stay on campus and learn and study and grow and become the best chef that you can be. So I, I just feel like you should know that because no one talked about like, what is there to do around here? What is there to do in Hyde Park, New York? Freaking nothing. There's nothing to do. And I'm not saying that as a, as a uh, to complain, but 
as someone coming from out of state, I would have liked to know like what there was here and there's not anything here. So if you're looking to party, if you're looking to, well, if you're looking to party, there's Marist, there's a campus right next to us. And I, apparently they throw parties. I haven't been to them, but yeah, apparently that happens. But there's no like bars, no restaurants, no nightclubs. There's no like scene, okay? There's no like outside of campus. I just walked and now I'm in this cute little coffee shop. Like there's none of that. It's, we're in the middle of nowhere, okay? We're, we're in the middle of nowhere. So you should know that. Um, so yeah, you should know that. If you come from a big city, it might be like a little bit of a hard adjustment because you might be used to like going out on a Friday night and like getting a drink with like your friend after class and that's not gonna happen here. Um, another cool thing is it's a wet campus. So if you're above 21, like moi, um, you're allowed to have alcohol in your room. So that's cool. Um, yeah, I guess that's it, you guys. I don't really have anything else to say. I um if you guys have any questions about the cia i'm more than willing to like make videos and answer the questions i can do a whole video on whatever business casual the meal plan the system if i figure out anything please bear with me this is like this channel has been a work in progress and it's very new but yeah guys that's it about the cia and oh i'm gonna go study because i've been avoiding it for too long so bye